Hello everyone, uh, in our last video on installing Cloud Bootloader, many of you face challenges. Today we are back with updated tutorial on how you, how you can install Cloud Bootloader in USB using Windows. With just few steps and little bit of file system knowledge, you will be able to boot into the Windows, Linux and even Hackintosh using USB drive. Let's get started. First you need to download all this file. You can download this file from the description box. Uh, it includes uh, Clover, 7-zip and Explorer++. And now uh, we are launching this part by uh, opening terminal and here I'm gonna write this part and let's open the disk part. This tool allows us to manipulate uh, disk partition and volume which is essential for the process. First uh, type less disk we are asking this part to show us all the list available in the file system. Uh, it shows two disk, disk 1 and disk 0. Uh, let me show you into the disk management. Here as you can see I have one uh, disk 0 which is an NVMe and disk 1 is our USB pen drive. Uh, let me close it and now type uh, list volume. It will show all the volumes in uh, list disk 0. Here we have volume 1 uh, which is FAT32. Guys you need to uh, search for the partition which is FAT32 and it's about 100 MB. So select it. I'm gonna select it by typing select volume 1. Now I'm gonna assign any letter to this drive. This time I'm assigning letter X to this drive. Letter X is already assigned to this drive. That's why it's throw error that letter is not free. Now let's move to the next step. First we will install 7-zip. Uh, so let me quick install it. Seven zip is now installed. Let's extract Explorer plus plus. So here go to more options, seven zip, and extract to this folder. Explorer plus plus is now extracted. So let's open it. And here we have Explorer plus plus. So run this as administrator. So here we have our partition X. It contain EFI folder and it con which contain multiple folder that contain boot files and configuration for different operating system. Microsoft hold file for Microsoft and Ubuntu for Ubuntu Linux. Clover is not here. It means Clover is not installed in my system. Uh, now uh, it's time I'm gonna extract Clover file. So let's close this and it's time I'm gonna extract this. Clover file are now extracted. Next, we are going to use a handy tool called Rufus to create bootable pen, bootable pen drive. You will find the download, download link in the description box. Uh, it's a straightforward tool to make the process a breeze. Now open Rufus and here uh, select your pen drive and go to select and here select the extracted Clover folder. So here we have, click here and click on open. And now uh, don't do any, change anything here, just click on start button. Click on OK and guys it will format all the data in your pen drive so make sure to take a backup and this process might take 10 to 16 minutes so sit tight and let's prove us to its magic. Great our pen drive is now bootable. Uh, let's take a quick look at the files on the pen drive. So as you can see it contain many folder like EFI, USR and EFI contain Clover and these uh, these are the required files which are uh, helping booting the system into the Clover bootloader. So uh, it's done. now uh, I'm gonna shut down my computer and put the system into the boot menu. So let me shut down it. Initially I'm going to the boot uh, system into without the pen drive. Uh, so let me boot into the system by pressing F12. First let me turn on the system and pressing F12. It will boot the system into the boot menu. So as you can see, we have various options such as Pop OS, Ubuntu, Windows, and nothing related to Clover. Now I'm gonna cancel this and reinsert the pen drive. So let me reinsert the pen drive and boot the system into the boot menu again. So guys this time you will see a new boot entry named as EFI USB uh, device and disk. Select it and hit enter. It will take 6 to 8 seconds to boot up. 
there you have it your system has successfully booted into the clover bootloader using the pen drive as you can see all the boot option including windows pop os ubuntu are here and you can choose which operating system you you want to boot now first of all i'm gonna boot into the system so let me hit enter into the windows here we go as you can see our device our system is now booting into the windows so let quick fast forward the video so our device is now successfully booted into the windows now let me restart the system again and booting uh, the system into the boot menu and this time i'm gonna boot the system into the pop os As you can see the grub bootloader and you can boot the grub uh, bootloader from the uh, clover uh, so that's a wrap for today's tutorial congratulations on uh, you have successfully set clover bootloader on your usb drive giving you the power to boot into the multiple operating system with ease if you found this video helpful please give a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe channel thank you for watching stay tuned for more tech journey